fact is that a seven year old, she is a female girl. She is uh, Lima. Lima has epilepsy. Now you have to talk with Lima's mother. Mother is Jannat. Okay. Okay. So first, I want to tell you one thing in epilepsy. If it is a known case that already diagnosed case, then it is an information giving. And if it is first time occurred, then it is a breaking bad news. So if it is a breaking bad news that uh, this is the first time I'm introducing, of course, I will show some much more empathy because it's a breaking bad news. She has epilepsy. And if information giving, then we do it as a normal. Like you can talk. Of course, empathy is shown. OK, then you can start. OK, so uh, doctor, this is a known case or this is a first known time? Case. Known, known case. case. Okay. Okay, so hello, I'm Dr. Nadia. I'm one of the pediatricians. Uh, uh, am I talking to, sorry, doctor, what was the name? Jannat. Jannat. Am I talking to Jannat, the uh, mother of uh, Lisa? Yeah, yeah, I'm Jannat. Lisa is my girl. Okay, so um, uh, welcome. Uh, uh, so nice to meet you, uh, Jannat. Uh, uh, may I, uh, can I... Uh, I'm here to talk to you about uh, Lisa's condition. Uh, is it a good time to talk to you now? Yeah, it's a suitable time. Okay, so, um, uh, so Janet, uh, uh, we have uh, seen um, the, uh, we have, uh, uh, we have uh, ordered uh, uh, the investigations uh, for uh, Lisa. So uh, she's having uh, electrical, uh, uh, like uh, she, uh, when we ordered uh, EEG, she was having some electrical uh, activity and it is uh, characteristic and typical of uh, uh, some uh, condition called uh, seizures. So uh, uh, are you aware of that condition? Yeah, doctor. I'm aware of that. She's diagnosed case of uh, epilepsy. Trying to tell that, you know, she's having the epilepsy. I don't know anything. I'm afraid to do something wrong. Is that anything I do wrong, doctor? So, okay. So, uh, have you ever uh, given the giving the medication to uh, Lisa previously? Yeah, I want to know the details about what I should do when, uh, if she has these fits. I want to know that. Uh, yes, uh, actually, um, uh, we have uh, done the test, and uh, actually, um, this uh, uh, this is uh, uh, like uh, EEG. Uh, this is actually this shows when whenever there is uh, too much electrical signals in our brain, um, it's uh, just mixed up, and uh, it will result in epilepsy. Okay, so I know that she has epilepsy. It's a known case. Uh, you know, so I want to know what I should do if she has fits. Okay, so yes, uh, you have to um, uh, whatever you uh, whatever the medication uh, it has been prescribed to you, you have to just uh, um, uh, give the prescribed uh, dose of medication, and uh, you should not uh, skip the medications. Okay, and uh, at the time of epilepsy, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah, and oh. at the time of epilepsy, yes, yes. Hmm. Uh, please uh, tell me your concern. No, no. Okay. Now I want to tell that uh, you know. Uh, is there any modification, anything, advice you give me, special advice? Yeah, medication, yes, I understand that. Anything you are giving me? Yes, uh, there are a lot of advices uh, regarding uh, this uh, seizure cases, this epilepsy case. Actually, uh, take the medications on time and take the medications, uh, 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 and the prescribed dose, uh, and uh, never never miss it. And uh, um, uh, uh, mm -hmm. And uh, refill, refill it uh, before uh, the medication is over and uh, take care of the safety of the child uh, in the kitchens and bathrooms and, uh, the, um, and uh, bedrooms and outside as well. And also regarding the compliance and uh, also the lack of sleep. If the child is having lack of sleep, uh, it can trigger uh, epilepsy. So he should have a good sleep. Also, are you, are you following me? Yeah, I'm following you. Okay, so that's great. Uh, so uh, actually the triggers uh, are uh, lack of sleep and uh, lack of food. And uh, if uh, she's having a physical, any kind of physical stress like fever or any kind of mental mental stress, 
like uh, any uh, good emotions like um, she's more happy this can also trigger it so you should uh, try to keep her away from more stressful situations okay 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 i understand but i want to ask one thing no i've heard uh, this information that uh, uh, epilepsy drugs people some thing related to contraceptions may know what is that oh that is actually for uh, um for uh, adults uh, not for a child of uh, this age uh, am i making it clear for you okay yeah for contraception what is uh, any advice for contraception contraception uh, this is actually for uh, uh, yeah if uh, she is uh, using contraceptions uh, then uh, this uh, medication will not work it was something like this doctor i think okay okay i understand that and uh, one thing i have to know that um, she can drive herself uh, she can yes, take alcohol uh, regularly yes yes uh, because uh, this is uh, uh, the safety precautions are so much uh, like uh, if uh, she cannot uh, drive uh, and she cannot cro cross the road uh why uh, without any um without anyone assisting uh, her and uh, also um also uh, while you uh, while doing exercises uh, she should use all the protective uh, measures uh, uh, like if uh, she's on cycling uh, so a helmet should be there and uh, every uh, everything uh, she she must be supervised while doing swimming and okay. all the other activities yes and she so should I'm never do anything that if uh, she missed any time to medications uh what she do uh yes uh, take it uh, on the uh, next uh, next uh, dose at the appropriate time okay and any advice doctor about traveling you know uh, traveling if you go long way so what should we do yes uh, for traveling uh, she can do traveling but uh, take all the medications with you uh, uh, and uh, key and uh, also um educate uh, her regarding uh, the uh, dosage and uh, timings of uh, the medications and uh, uh, supervise her uh, never let her uh, miss her uh, medication okay and uh, she likes to play basketball have you any advice about that uh yes uh, she should not actually do uh, so much uh, contact sport because uh, this can all because uh, she may have uh, uh, more this is uh, some kind of uh, st uh, physical stressful situation so so uh, this may trigger her uh, epilepsy so uh, avoid that please okay okay i understand that is there any advice about choosing career uh she can choose uh, uh, yes uh, this is a very nice question uh, miss uh, uh janat uh, but uh, actually she can choose uh, any career but uh, in that uh, uh, it, it that should not be having uh, so much stress uh, like uh, she can choose uh, uh, less stressful uh, careers okay 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 i understand that then you ask me any and concern and you summarize trusted website and the support group like that yeah. okay but i yes. want to tell you that uh, i think uh, your communication was not appropriate first of all at the beginning we repeated the questions okay you have not heard that what i do if she has again the fits you told me about the medications mm -hmm. and you have not asked me my concern what is your concern about or what is your update about lisa's health and any attendance have you asked any attendance that do you want anyone to join this meeting oh, before yes. i start yes yes so this the basic we need to maintain that otherwise okay the, i'm telling what are the information you give first introduction repo clarify my rule agenda and the permission i take how much do you know about uh, alice lisa's conditions okay she is having the epilepsy i want to know what she i do if she has this again the fits so i really appreciate our oris your oris first of all if she had the fits put her on her side in a safe and comfortable place also you should remove any tight clothes or any accessories around her neck and she she is wearing any glasses you should take off take it off so tight dresses will take her on a safe and comfortable places tight dress will you remove and any accessories on any around her neck no wearing glasses we will take it off okay doctor and add to this you will make sure that she is not hitting her head but do not strain her or flush her mouth with water or do not put anything inside her mouth so we will just um, sure that she is not hitting her head and do not we give anything inside her mouth or flush her face or giving water anything now what do we do 
we you keep watching her if there is any change in the color noisy breathing or feet prolong more than 5 minutes so any change in the color noisy breathing feet prolong more than 5 minutes you will give her a medicine apply directly into the inner side of the cheeks then call the ambulance so then after 5 minutes we are giving the inner side of the cheeks now that is very important it is come on the recall communication also uh, you know video station and also history all where we face this so about any home modification for epilepsy excellent questions you should cover any sticking or furniture uh, or sharp corner okay sharp corner she will be bind anything increasing the feeds yes there are some triggering factor like sleeping late flash at night fasting menstruation stress anxiety and heavy drinking these are aggravate the feeds so she should avoid that anything i should take care of yes you should take care when using the toilet better not to lock the door from the inside using a thigh from the outside or during the shower better to use it when standing rather than the bath shower uh, bath shower so she will choose the standing shower rather than the bath and she will not lock the inside the bathroom now about what about the contraceptions i am telling you what about the contraceptions actually not all types of epilepsy medicine affect the contraception some epilepsy medicine decreases the power of contraception and some not so when she grows up you can discuss with the sexual health clinic department and they will advise you about the best method of contraception for her after laceration with the nerve doctor so we will tell that uh, when she sexually active then she will discuss with the sexual health clinic about this matter now what about the alcohol yes children with epilepsy cannot drink alcohol as it decreases the action of and efficacy of the efficacy of the epilepsy medications and will make her prone of to having fits now what about choosing her career career i will tell that children with epilepsy cannot join the armed forces or air forces so armed forces air forces they will avoid what about the driving license if she became free from fit for one year or having night time only fits for three year so one year totally um, night and day time and three years only night time now how, if i missed any medications what should i do all that day so it is important to take the medication in certain regular time some types of epilepsy if we forgot the medication may precipitate the seizure or some other not so if i forget she always forgets the medication what should i do we can use alarm assign one to remember her or chart on her room wall or tablet dispenser so we can take alarm or keep a person who will remember or we can make a chart like that regarding school what should we do she needs to be absent from the school most children who had epilepsy go through the mainstream of the school but sometimes epilepsy may disable the children to attend daily we should lies to school nurse and make sure that they can deal with the emergency situations she is playing basketball vigorous exercises better to be avoided and if any other sports must be um, under qualified supervision so vigorous exercise she will be avoided and what about traveling or campaign for a long time better to avoid it for long time campaign but we can assign someone knows her conditions making sure she is having sufficient amount of medications and liaise with the responsible for this campaign and uh, then any other concerns summary trusted website written leaflets and support groups so this is all about epilepsy communications okay